Rhadamanthus Steeler stands out in the dynamic realm of cybersecurity threats as a force to be reckoned with. As the name suggests, this is software designed to extract data from infected machines. So, if you're interested in cybersecurity, you should be paying close attention to this one, because it's a dangerous and noteworthy Software as a Service, or SAAS. Here are the five compelling reasons why Rhadamanthus will probably make waves in the cybersecurity landscape. Number 1. Constant Development and Improvement Rhadamanthus sets itself apart from the competition through constant development and refinement. The owner is committed to enhancing the software by regularly adding features, resolving bugs, and actively incorporating consumer feedback. This iterative approach ensures Rhadamanthus remains at the forefront of malicious software innovation, making it a capable and constantly evolving threat. Number 2. Rise in Utilization and Deceptive Marketing Campaigns Every day, more and more hackers use Rhadamanthus. This is evidenced by a growing number of reported cases since the malware service was first established. The surge is fueled by the strategic efforts of affiliate teams, who use fake Google Ads campaigns to spread the malware. Number 3. Worthy Competitor As Rhadamanthus gains momentum, it demonstrates a competitive edge by offering cost-effective services compared to major competitors like Vidar. Some of its older brothers, like Redline, show that Rhadamanthus is a viable, fresh, new alternative. This shift in preference shows Rhadamanthus is the go-to choice for hackers in the fast-paced realm of malicious software. As a result, rival software is declining in popularity, securing Rhadamanthus's dominance in the dark web. Number 4. Complete Service The Rhadamanthus operator provides a comprehensive service to consumers, if we can call them that. The software offers malware equipped with robust obfuscation techniques, configured command and control servers, and a reverse proxy server for anonymization purposes. This allows even newbies in the hacking game to launch full-scale deceptive malicious campaigns. As a result, Rhadamanthus is most popular among newcomers looking to start a career in online stealing. Number 5. Clandestine Character in April 2024, the individual responsible for the Rhadamanthus Stealer was banned from famous dark web forums. The reason? There were suspicions of targeting CIS countries, which could result in reduced utilization of the malicious software by affiliates, and a more secretive operational approach in the near future. It's important to highlight that Rhadamanthus became really popular among threat actors over the years. This could result in future partnerships with malware as a service providers. In conclusion, Rhadamanthus Stealer emerges as a competitive malware in the dynamic cybersecurity landscape. Its continuous development, utilization in deceptive marketing campaigns, competitive pricing, targeting of corporate accounts, and data ownership model highlight its potential ascent to leading positions among its competitors. If you would like to know more about the intricate world of cybersecurity, don't be shy and smash that subscribe button! If this video was useful, don't forget to like it and watch another one on our channel.